Hi, my name is Laura. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to teach you today how to change some of the settings on your Blackboard. So I'm teaching in Saudi Arabia. So our platform for Blackboard, it's been um, configured to be in Arabic and I unfortunately don't read or speak Arabic. So I had to change some of the settings to make it a little easier for me. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so I'm logged into my Blackboard already. I'm going to go to my third section that I teach and you can see that I've put a banner on there and I've changed the color. So to show you how to do that, firstly let's go to the settings and change it to English. Like first things first, okay? So in your settings on the side go to customization. Oh no, sorry, that's for the other thing. Is it? Oh no, no, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, um, go to customization and go to properties. Okay, so here you can change the name of the course. It was in Arabic, but I changed it to English. So it says English 002, 1025. Um, and then I'm going to go to scroll down to see other options uh, here. Where is language? Okay, select language pack. Okay, so select language pack, then you're gonna change um, your language to hopefully you have this option for English United States, even though I'm from Canada, but I'm gonna choose English United States because that's the only option there, there is there. Uh, okay, so then we just save and click submit. Okay. And then to add some other features to your Blackboard, like changing the background, go to customization and go to teaching style. So I really like this option because um, I changed the background, the banner for my different sections so that it's easier for the students to know where they are when you're showing them, uh, for example, how to go on Blackboard. Um, because with the, what we're doing is we have different sections that we have to sign into. So for the afternoon class, my students go to this one, which is section 1025. So I want section 1025 to look a little bit different than section 1020 or, or 1022. Okay, so what you want to do is just scroll down and you can change this menu because originally it comes in this very disgusting, like pale butter yellow color and I just changed mine to blue. You don't want to make it too dark because then they can't read the settings properly. So obviously like make it kind of a light color is fine. Light blue or light green is fine. Here you can add a banner. So you just browse your computer, click browse to choose the file and then pop it up there. I just chose some stars on this one. The other sections that I have are different. Just to quickly show you, if I click on 1022, I have a different color scheme. If I go to the main page, you can see that I put a little bitmoji there, it's cute, and it's different so they can tell which section they're on. And if I go to section 1020, I put some books, and you can see here that all of the menu options are in English. So to show you how to change that, if I go to the one that's still in Arabic, which is section 1025, I'm just going to click on this and click rename and I'm going to name this one main page. I'm kind of slow with typing guys, but okay, main page and then just click enter. Well, I'll maybe not enter, but just click off of it and it's frozen. I'm not sure if it's frozen. Enter. No, it didn't work. What the hell? Okay, so it finally worked. I clicked on the check mark. I'm using a different computer right now, so it's a little different from my computer. So, yeah. Crisis averted. Uh, yeah, so you can change this whole menu to be in English, which is obviously much more beneficial if you don't speak Arabic. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to show you guys for now. 
um, that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, I might have some more videos about how to use Blackboard. And uh, you can watch some other videos about teaching and uh, traveling and stuff on my channel. It's uh, Laura Traveler. And also have my blog, which I forgot to put the, the link up here beforehand, but it's Lolo Travel Go Go. I told you guys I'm really slow at typing. Travel Go Go at. Where's the app button on this computer? Okay. Well, if I just search for that, it's gonna. Oh, there I am. It's me. Okay, so if I go to Lolo Travel Go Go, here you can see a lot of different stuff like about teaching and stuff for teachers and stuff for students and things about traveling and teaching ESL abroad. This is about like what you can wear as a teacher in Thailand. In Saudi, it's a lot more strict. Like they're always telling us like what clothes we can wear and stuff. Anyways, I'll, I'm gonna make a separate post on that about, uh, about the dress code in Saudi on my blog, but here you can see the dress code for Thailand, which is also kind of conservative, like the teachers have to wear uh, skirts and whatnot. Not all the teachers, just the girls. <laughs> uh, but that'd be awesome if they made the men wear skirts as well, then they could understand how that feels when someone tells you you can't wear pants to work. Anyways, there's a lot more stuff about, about teaching, Okay, and about travel as well, you can search, so for example, if I want to know about, about travel, you can see, oh, best sna travel snacks, yummy. You can see Machu Picchu, traveling in Europe for beginners. So these all have like some different tips about traveling. Um, for ESL teachers specifically, but also for anybody in general that's curious about that. Um, these are some of the countries that I've been to. It's pretty neat. I have to update this. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks and see you next time. Bye.